Street, you're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is bouncing for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Bortles' it's Jaguars going up against Foles' Eagles. Okay, Larry, thank you. We are just off I-95 at the home of the Eagles, Lincoln Financial Field on the south side of Philadelphia. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago where the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly as they get ready to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. and 10. Here's Wentz escaping the pressure right. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Second down. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. That's a matchup. Maybe they go back to their outer third of the field as this game continues. Yeah, I think back to my high school coach, John Ford, he used to say when we got big plays early in a game or good plays, you know, he say, follow it away, lad. Follow it away because he want to come back to it later in a key situation. They may come back to this one a little more often than that. Didn't he say laddie or did he? <laughs> and oh, he coughed it up. And the Jags grab it. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. And this is something that you know that they're emphasizing. You know they're working on, but it has to improve. Carson Wentz lost 14 fumbles as a rookie. And the NFL is just different. When you're in the pocket, you're always at risk of that ball being jostled out. And if memory serves, those 14 fumbles tied with Carson Palmer for most in the NFL. Flushed out right. Oh, he's going to air it out. This is caught inside the 15. And he makes it all the way down to the 13-yard line. A big third down play there for the Jags. 42 yards. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. Into the red zone, it's Bortles. Steps away to his left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Mercedes Lewis from 13 yards out. And the Jags have taken the early lead. Well, he scrambled outside of the pocket and wondered what was going to happen there. He fired a dart. That's what happened. He certainly did. Scrambled left, looked left and then left it in the receiver's hands with some dispatch. In the receiver's hands, in the end zone for the score. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. He's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Eagles will take over here in just a second on offense. And Charles, as you look back to the Super Bowl title run that they just had, what were some of the moves that made that possible? I'll keep it on the offensive side of the ball because I thought their front office did a fantastic job of having answers in case things happen. Carson Wentz goes out. Well, they had signed Nick Foles to back him up. That worked out pretty well. <laughs> Getting Alshon Jeffrey as a weapon outside to help them in the passing game. 
coach Darren Sproles gets hurt at running back. Corey Clement was signed as an undrafted free agent. He filled in well, and they traded for Jay Ajayi. And how about Jason Peters losing the all-world left tackle? And Halapula Vate Vaitai, who they drafted the year before, filled in quite capably. They had answers for everything they needed. Second down now after the incompletion. From the gun, it's Wins. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Miles Jack. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Wins to throw on second down. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it third and one. the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to make it fourth down. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They do go for it. It's Wentz. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Burton. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Give him eight on the play, and they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. Fresh set of downs here. Shotgun now for Wentz. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Wentz again here on second and ten. And he dumps it off to Blunt. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make it third down. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. on third down looking for Jeffrey and it's intercepted picked off by Jalen Ramsey and the possession is theirs at their own 43 yard line 
When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. So after the INT, it's Bortles. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Fletcher Cox forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. Room here to run. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Alongside the former defensive back Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Jaguar football as we begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Bortles. And he is going to be hit and taken down. Bortles sacked. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. On second down, here's Bortles. That's into the hands of Westbrook over the middle. Touchdown, Jaguars! A big play there. 43 yards. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him. Let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? R-A-C. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Oh, a nice spin. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Now Wentz, buying time to his left. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Here's Wentz to throw, and he connects with Ertz. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. To throw is Wentz. Flush to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And it's second down. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. From the gun on third down, wins. Aguilar has it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years? And this is taken in at the five. And they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. That one goes for 36 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run with a J. And he pushes forward but comes up short of the goal line as he'll get a yard down to about the one. Two minutes to play here in the first half. 
We'll come back to Philadelphia after this. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jay Ajayi taking it in from a yard out. And the Eagles get a score closer. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Elliott now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. The Jaguars getting set to go. Now right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, hey, hey, the play hey, calling, hey, hey, hey. they're locked in really well. Hoping now to get back in the end zone on his fourth possession. Portals on the give to Fournette. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup, so from a good situation on second and two, it's now third and one. And the Eagles are going to go ahead and take another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. So it is third down now, but less than a yard to go. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here we go now. Three. On third down, Fournette. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They do go for it. It's Bortles. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. They accepted the risk, and it was rewarded. What a catch on fourth down to create a first down situation. But one more time, what a catch. And what a catch. It was close, perilously close to a turnover on downs, but picked up the first. How about him getting his feet down, though? That's footwork. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Throwing now is Bortles. He's got Lewis. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Quarles going to throw. Caught right side. It's Lewis. 
And he's going to get this inside the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Bortles now on first down. Forced out to his left. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And Lambeau will put this one through. And that will make this now an 18-point ball game. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, but the net gain, three points. And you're going to have drives like that in this league. Sometimes you just got to take the three and move on. Always better than nothing. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he spins through. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yep. Run what Put you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Second half beginning with a run from Fournette. And he'll lose yardage here. Going down back at the 28. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. So statistically... Both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But, boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling them behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. So now 11 yards to go for this offensive unit. It's second down. Go, go. Green, 90. Green, 90. Again, it's Fournette. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third and one. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. He needed a yard, that's what he got, and it's going to earn him a new set of downs. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulder square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Now, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Bortles will try again on second down. Going to let one fly for Rupp. That's caught inside the 20. And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. A big play there. Bortles to Robinson. 45 yards. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, 
Sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, helped force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Back to the air on second down. It's Bortles. He's going to be sacked. Back at the 23-yard line. Brandon Graham in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Following the sack, third and long for Bortles and the Jags. Play clock winding down. Now Bortles. Just keeping the play alive. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. But there was pressure all around him, so the only play was to try and get out of there. I think it was... Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up a lot. It's a foot race. He's at the 50, the 30, the 20. And the Eagles are in for six. Elliott on for the extra point. And this time he gets it to go as it is up and good. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. Take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half, but the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mental. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game, but a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire that sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going, and you also think at any moment I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know it's not that easy once you get off the gas a little. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Following the sack, third and long for Bortles and the Jags. Working from the gun, it's Bortles. Trying to improvise. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And a shot taken on third down, unsuccessful. Fourth down now. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. Take it at the 37. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. First down, Wentz. Going underneath to Blunt. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. 
Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed as that's going to move the chains. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. He finds Aguilar over the middle, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen. But everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they showed to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. And here comes play number six on this drive. Now Wentz throwing on second down. He's throwing caught at about the five. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Throwing now is Wentz, and nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted, and if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Second down, here's Wentz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Trey Burton from a yard out. And the Eagles have cut it back within a score. So second and goal there from the one, they go to the air. And the perfect down to throw the football in this sequence. Second down is always kind of the, do they throw it, do they run it? They worked it out to perfection on that one by throwing it into the end zone. Now, Wentz again, and his pass incomplete. Should have been picked, probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense. Right? Oh, that's true. You've said that before. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Shift together here from the D-line. They'll run it again with Fournette. And some room to maneuver. He's got daylight. Touchdown, Jaguars. A great effort there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Here's Lambeau out to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. now on first down oh the ball comes out on the hit but they'll say it's incomplete 
Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Wentz will try again on second down. He's going to let this one go deep. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Now Wentz on third down. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. And now a first down following that long gain. Wins to throw again. And a reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. That one goes for 24 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Ben, but don't. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Yannick Ngakwe in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. Wins to throw on second down. Eluding the pressure right. No, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game, and I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've kept this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Calais Campbell in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Wentz, got to have this one. Now a desperation throw deep. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Barry Church. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. to convert on fourth down. Bortles going to throw here. Airing it out for Hearns. A wide open, complete. A big pick up there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. Usually hitting a deep post pattern is...
saw there for a big gainer? That's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field. But if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls, you start to get those guys creeping up wanting to make plays on the football. It's the equivalent of a change-up in baseball. You show your other stuff, throw the change-up, and on that play, it worked for big yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack.